The Netherlands, England, and then France create companies to take over this new trade. Their ships are loaded with European handicrafts, such as textiles, metals, and weapons. They leave for the African coasts to exchange their goods for slaves. The latter are either prisoners of war or are the result of abductions. Hundreds of slaves are crammed into the holds of ships in appalling conditions for voyages to America that last several months. The majority end up in Brazil and the Caribbean, where the climate is ideal for growing sugarcane, but also for coffee, cotton, and tobacco. The large European landowners, called planters, exchange the slaves for precious metals and local products. The ships then return to Europe to sell the American products on the European markets. The companies make large profits and organize more and more shipments. Western Europe is rapidly getting richer at the expense of the labor force of Africa and the cultivatable land of America. 